and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 76.9 kilograms and trains under Simon Carson out of Absolute MMA with a professional record of four wins, four three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jasper Body Heat Dunphy. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 77 kilograms and trains under David Garnham and Peter Templer out of Mackay MMA. With a professional record of two wins for four defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kimo the Crazy Tongan Smith. His gym proudly. Thomas Churchill signals us underway. First bout on our main card here tonight to near an cage side with Carl Noak and King Casey O'Neill. Kimo started off nice with some heavy leg kicks to start the fight. Well, Kimo who opened up with a few strikes but he finds himself on the end of some tough grappling. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this matchup presented by Nets. Jasper wasted no time to get this fight to the ground. He also would realise that a lot of Kimo's losses have come on the ground, so it's a smart decision by him to try and take this fight to the ground early. You see Jasper now just staying in half guard, looking to work from here. Kimo looks a lot more uh, composed on the ground here, though, than he, than he had been in his last couple of fights. He did acknowledge the fact that he had lost a, a couple of fights on the ground here and said he went away to work on it. And obviously Jasper's been working on his as well because he's a newly promoted blue belt in jiu-jitsu. So both guys were willing to go to the ground for this one, having worked on it a lot. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see who ends up being better here on the ground. So he does indeed look a lot more composed, even though it's not the best position for the crazy Tommy. Jasper Dunphy, we were excited to see what uh, newly acquired skills he had that came along with that blue belt. As he lands a few strikes there. He's doing all the right things here. He's trying to make space with his uh, feet on the hips. He's getting his hooks and trying to elevate and sweep here. So I definitely see a lot of improvements in his game so far. Um, it's just going to take one mistake from Jasper on top here for him to, to capitalize that and end up on top himself. You mentioned uh, Jasper being a blue belt. That'd be a high-level blue belt too, that coming out of absolute MMA in Melbourne. There's some phenomenal grapplers, that, grapplers down there. Oh, most definitely. Simon Carson, no doubt, putting Jasper through his rounds. Jasper just clearing that leg to get back to full guard again. Okay, so you talk about both improvements guys have made. This, although it's a bit uneventful for the crowd here, it's incredibly taxing, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that it's showing the improvements, the fact that neither guy can get something off on the other here. You know, it's a, a technical chess match, as you'd say, and both men just trying to find an opening to make something happen here. Jasper's starting to get Kimo up against the fence and not uh, be able to have a way out, but Kimo can use the cage here if he can get his hips free, get those feet back on the hips, push up, and uh, we'll walk and end up back on the feet here. Well, he's in total control. There's Jasper Dunphy going to the body now. We talk about absolute MMA having some serious killers out at that gym. Mackay MMA the same. Peter Templer in his corner. Jaden VV as well. No doubt they put him through his paces for Kimo Smith. And you see Jasper just constantly readjusting, making it more and more steps for Kimo Smith to be able to get up. Just as he gets his hips square against the fence and thinks he can push up, Jasper pulls him back down, gets him flat on his back, and he's got to do all that work right back over again. Yeah, it's very frustrating for Kimo being on the bottom. Every attempt that he makes draws a little bit of his energy away. So like you said, Casey, Jasper's doing everything right, and it's just sucking the energy out of Kimo here. You see him grab that rest. He's got a backside rest right now, so it makes it so much harder for him to defend those punches. He loses it, but 
that was really good fight IQ by Jasper Dumphy. You can see that he's really been working on his ground game before this fight. He might doing a good job now, just controlling that neck, stopping Jasper from post posturing up to land anybody. And with that, a reversal as well. Beautiful reversal there for, from Kimo Smith. And this is a good way to finish a round, especially when you've been on the back, you're back <laughs> most of the time. Leave a lasting impression as he looks to posture up and strike now. And he passed easy just there. Uh, it was a complete 180 of what was happening for the whole round. He managed to pass the legs quite well and end up in a dominant possession, as you said, to finish the round. And that's got to give him some confidence going into round two here. Totally agree with you there, Casey. And action continues here in round two for Eternal 70. Once again, celebrating 10 years of Australia's flagship promotion. The start of that first round, Kimo came out heavy with the kicks too and was landing well until he got one caught by Jasper and ended up on his back. So I'm assuming that he's going to try and get some more of those off just as he gets clinched here. He's going to try and keep it long and land more of those big heavy kicks. And he's got to be careful those kicks, not to leave him out too long either because he does not want to get back to the ground with a guy like Jasper. Although he did have success in the rounds, I think the better option for Kimo is to keep this one on the feet. It was almost too little too late, wasn't it, Cole? He only had 40 seconds left on the clock after that sweep. But he's doing a good job of keeping it on the feet thus far, but it's Jasper Dunphy that's looking to press the action now. Yeah, the men seem to be engaging in a kicking battle of sorts now. We went from a grappling exchange in the first round to a full tie fight by the looks of it. Well, they flipped the script, as we say, on us, Casey. But it's more of the same here in round two for Jasper. Taking Kimo down up against that uh, proper number 12 banner. Jasper's looking really good here tonight as well. You know, his last fight was a loss via guillotine to Abel Bright, who is an Australian MMA veteran. It's uh, not a shameful loss at all. You know, it snapped a three-fight win streak that he was on. So he was on a roll before that fight. I'm assuming that... He wants to get that momentum back. And the lightweight division as well has been highly, you know, it's been highly, uh, I can't think of the word highly here. But there's, yeah, there's a lot of fights <laughs> in the lightweight uh, division tonight. Uh, and even last night was the was the champion, nearly crowned champion in the lightweight division. So both men looking to, to get a win here and start working up the ranks in the lightweight division. Couldn't agree with you more, Casey O'Neill. Absolutely stacked. Yeah, we spoke about it earlier, T. The yes. lightweight light division is the most stacked division in Australia. Definitely. Definitely. We've seen some incredible lightweight matchups here at Eternal, here at the Southport Sharks. You can't go past Dibs Gillies and Josh Coon putting on what many have said is the uh, greatest mixed martial arts bout in the history of this sport in this country. See Who? Jasper starting to, to tee off with little pepper and shots here. He's got Kimo stuck up against the fence with his neck, completely stuck against the fence there, and landing big shots with nowhere for Kimo's head to go. Well, it's almost daily routine for Jasper, isn't it? Especially training under Simon Carson at Absolute MMA. We'll see one of his teammates later on in Simakari Kikembo, but you make mention. The eternal featherweight champion, Jack Jenkins, also from Absolute MMA. Former eternal bantamweight champion, Sam Hibbert, Absolute MMA, Ricky Beechin, eternal heavyweight champion, absolute MMA. They keep churning him out down there in Melbourne, Victoria, don't they, Cole, mate? Absolutely, they do. It's a great gym. I've had the pleasure of being down there once before and training with the guys, and it was no, there was no easy rolls on the mat, let me tell you now. Oh, I believe you. I have to correct myself from earlier. This is a welterweight fight, not a lightweight <laughs> fight. I thought both men looked really big. Uh, sorry, really didn't look like uh, lightweights, but <laughs> nevertheless. We're just warming up in the booth here, King Casey. You can say whatever you like. It still doesn't little, take, doesn't take away. I'm a little right now, I'm and I, from my, my <laughs> sister having her first fight tonight. An amazing undercard that we had earlier on tonight. Yes, congratulations to you, the family, and the team. Robin O'Neill victorious on debut as an amateur as we get back to the action here quickly. Kimo Smith back to his feet. Jasper complaining there that Kimo had a hold of his shorts. It's a bit of a desperation move from Kimo. It's 
Jasper was able to put him back on the ground again, back in that half guard where he's had some, so much success in this fight already. Just under a minute left in round two. Jasper's got his arms super deep in there on Kimo. If Kimo can follow that hand down and grab that wrist, he's going to get a reversal there if he can look for it. But I'm sure Jasper's aware, pulls his arm out. And Jasper is just making this fight an absolute grind for Kimo. This is an, an exhausting thing to constantly be fending off punches, trying to improve your position and just being dragged back down time and time again. Yeah, and then also having Jasper's weight on top of him, having to carry that weight as well. Every time he moves, he has to move Jasper's body, which is a lot of weight to move. Otherwise, it's going to look like a pretty unanimous decision for Jasper Dumpy. Third and final round. Right hand lands flush over the top for Jasper Dumpy, and what a way to set up an entry. He is straight in there, deep on that body lock, straight into full mount, Casey O'Neill. Yeah, look, he came out firing with that right hand and got him straight back to where he's had success for the whole fight. That's got to feel good. He's got four minutes and 30 seconds to work here, and he's at full mount, which is a very dangerous position for Kimo Smith. Yeah, he's got that grapevine around the leg right now, so he can't really posture up. If he can let go of that grapevine and lock his legs behind his, behind Kimo's butt, he'll be able to posture up and start landing some ground and pound. There he goes, T. Right on cue, Carl. No, there you go. <laughs> you see him taking his time, though, and being patient. Doesn't want to, to burn himself out. He, once he knows he can get the finish, you're going to see him unload a lot more, which he's starting to do now. It's a nice elbow. A very smart fight from Jasper so far. It's that fight IQ. I'd really like to see him drop his hips, posture up, and just start raining down with really heavy shots. I think he could get a finish here. I think he may have heard you there, Casey. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Smith looking to bridge up. He's got to be careful not to give his back, but he does a good job of transitioning to half guard. But who knows, if it's anything like we've seen early on in rounds two, half guard, you're well and truly still in deep with Jasper Dunphy on top of it. Kimo Smith really has been doing the right things in this fight. He has been working on his ground. It shows he's been creating space and putting his feet on the hips and just trying to work to get up. But Jasper's just one step ahead. Every time he builds up to a base, he gets it taken out from under him and has to start all over again, which is exhausting, to say the least. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly right. It's not that... Kimo's doing anything wrong, so Jasper's just that one step ahead of him the whole time. He is far too dominant, especially coming into this fight. It's like as the fight goes on, he continues to pick up the pace and work, but he's got an underhook there for Smith. Got to watch his neck, though. Nice work there from Kimo. Great work from Kimo. Heavy hips as Jasper immediately shoots upon the separation. Kimo's really got to look to get off the fence here. He's got to stuff that head, stuff that takedown, but unfortunately he couldn't do it. He ends up back on his back. Two minutes left in the round. It's a lot of time to work for Jasper. And Jasper just pe peppering away at the body there. Doesn't seem too hesitant to posture up too much and land some heavy ground and pounding. Seems quite happy just to lay down and, and just land peppering shots on him. He seems to be doing enough. Thomas Churchill, our referee in charge, has expressed no interest in standing these men up. As Jasper passes successfully into side control. Kimo is still working from the bottom. He threw up a, a triangle unsuccessful and ends up in side control here. He's really got to try and get that underhook, explode up with his hips and wall walk to make some space. Maybe that crowd behind him will get him up. I hear the crowd rallying him on. One minute left. <laughs> There's a bit of support for Kimo Smith here. 
Can he use it to get back to his feet as we count down the final minute? Here in our opening matchup with our main count. Just a super grind fight. Dunphy just doing amazing, just having the dominant possession this whole fight. It's just been a dominant 15 minutes so far, ground control for Jasper Dunphy. Yeah, guys, Jasper's really for a smart fight tonight. He's done everything he can. He, he, like we said earlier, he knows that Kimo's lost a lot of fights on the ground. Not a lot, but the majority of his fights on the ground. And he's doing everything right in this fight to win. Final 10 seconds of round number three. A grueling bout here to open our main card. Jasper Dunphy continuing to land at will. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27 for your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Jasper Body Heat.